you'll need some paper bags or envelopes, old envelopes, a pen, scissors or secateurs. With the cal calendula, the seeds ripen, so you've got some flowers here and then you've got the seed heads. They do look a bit messy just now, but we know the seeds are ripe once they've gone dry and brown. We've got some here that are green, and then we've got some that have dried and gone brown. They're really, really easy seeds to collect. They're not too small, so I'll just get my bag, and you can see them easily coming away into the bag. So big seeds, really easy to gather. And put them in our bag. I prepared this bag earlier and have written the name. It's really important to write the name of the seed at the time you're collecting it because after you'll forget which ones are which. So we've got a good supply and we can tidy these up now. Another popular plant in the garden are these nasturtiums. You can see they're still looking okay but they're on their way out. So we can easily gather seed from them big easy to see seeds you can see them down here um, they're green just now but they're really easy to just take off the plant I'm putting them in an envelope paper envelope we used paper bags before this allows things to dry out without going moldy don't use a plastic bag or anything that won't allow the moisture to escape so easy to collect, pop them in an envelope and I'll take them somewhere indoors to dry out on windowsill or just a warm room. You can also collect seeds from herbs. Here we've got some chives, so let me just show you how easy it is to get seeds from them. Dead flower, and if I do that you can see the seeds pouring out of it. So these would all be new chive plants so really easy we've also got some parsley here and it's gone to seed so the flower heads are starting to form seeds so i can collect these in my envelope or bag and again use these next year to plant some fresh parsley Go round the garden and experiment. There's lots to collect just now. Then let them dry out ready for sowing next spring. It's really a great way to save some money and increase the different types of plants you're able to grow. So go on and give it a try.